Gunfire inside of a Fairmount gas station leaves one person dead and a private security guard hurt. Hank, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, guys. Uh, well, I can tell you that it wasn't a stick up, which is typically the case in Philadelphia when someone walks into a gas station with a firearm tucked into their pants. Uh, police say there may have been some prior history here between a 39 year old shooter who's now dead and the folks who run this Sunoco here at Poplar and College Avenue. Guys, you see it play out here on surveillance. Uh, a man walks in. He's immediately, immediately stopped by an armed security guard. It's a heated altercation right from the jump. Guns are drawn and then fired police believe a weapon lying outside with an extended magazine belonged to the 39 year old he was hit in the face and body multiple times and pronounced dead at temple university hospital security guard as you said mike was hit once in a leg he's in stable condition police say that a truck and a smoker that was on the parking lot might have belonged to the gunman who may have had an ongoing relationship with the station management that's not confirmed one shot even went through a second floor window across the street the bullet landed on a bed and no one fortunately there was hurt Philly Police Chief Inspector Scott Small is still tying up loose ends. We know shots were exchanged. We don't know who fired shots first. We know there was a shootout between the security guard and the 39 year old who subsequently died. We don't know what motivated this shooting. However, the security guard is licensed to carry. He's a legitimate security guard and he is employed at this Sunoco. The 39 year old male who was carrying a gun and was shot and killed does live in the area. We know he frequents this location, but we don't know why he entered this Sunoco Mini Mart armed with a gun and confronted an armed security guard in uniform. Now, guys, Inspector Small says the gunman lived in the neighborhood and may have been in the store earlier. Uh, there might have been an argument left and came back, which could explain why the two men were quick to, to confront one another. Now, Small also said that police had been told that the shooter used a smoker to prepare and sell food from the parking lot. That is not confirmed. Uh, guys, as we come back to our live shot, you see the gentleman going in the door there, walking up toward uh, some coolers. Uh, those coolers that were clearly stricken by gunfire. They're all covered up with black plastic uh, right now and those cooler glasses will have to be replaced but uh, the store is open guys uh, this morning they um, you know most of the folks coming in through these doors right now we've talked to a couple of them are not even aware uh, that something so drastic had happened right here at these doors just uh, last night guys yeah back open for business interesting uh, all right yeah. Hank thanks uh, six